Hey everybody, this is Ori from OneScales. In today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about performance max Google ad campaigns and spam. We've been noticing quite uh, lately, even for our own campaign on OneScales, that there's just a ton of spam. There's more and more spam. We running, we're running performance max campaigns. It just seems to be more and more spam, more and more clicks that are uh, fake, and all these contact forms and leads that people are uh, obviously not relevant to who we're trying to target. There, for example, we're targeting people in English-speaking countries. We're getting people that are filling out our contact form that are just uh, have very broken English. And when we looked at our Google Analytics uh, uh, information, we noticed that they're coming from all kinds of countries that we did not specify. And we found a solution for it, so I wanted to share it with you. So let's jump into it very simply. So performance max campaigns is our campaigns that you specify what you want to target, the pages you want to target, the content, right, the banners, the, the wording, etc. And then you tar you specify your audiences, and then you let Google just decide where to show your ads. Your show your ads will show on Google Search, on YouTube, on Gmail, on a content, uh, you know, content partner sites, in banners, in text, all kinds of stuff. And Google decides where to put it. You don't have too much control other than some settings. So we notice that we have a lot of spam, and then there's two things you need to consider uh, and change settings in order to reduce that spam and I want to show it to you. So the first thing, let's jump into it, is very simply when you go to your asset groups, aside from the content that you're promoting, uh, one way to reduce spam is to actually change the audience signals. So if I click here, I can actually edit my audience signals and this is the place that I decide which types of interests go and, and we're trying to target. So here you specify custom segments, maybe um, some search terms, for example, that people search on Google. Uh, th this one, your data is for remarketing. Maybe you want to find people that are similar to people that have already visited your site or some of your pages. And then the interests, which are general topics, for example, your your main topics, categories, and terms. So these are the things you can, you can do, and demographics, of course. These are the things that you can do in order to target more re re related people, more relative people, more uh, people that are actually more related to what you're looking for, right? What your business product or service is uh, looking to target. So this is the thing that's obvious. It's obvious. Many people out there have talked about it online. I'm gonna kind of jump over this. The second thing is the thing that I found the the best way to reduce the spam is this. Okay, it's a very simple setting, and it's very very important. So when you go to your actual campaigns, let's go back here. We noticed that when we look at some of our traffic, we went to Google Analytics, and we noticed that when you look for cross-network, which is the what Google defines the Google Ads uh, in Google Analytics, what they define uh, under Performance Max, it actually comes in as cross-network traffic, not paid ad traffic, not organic, but cross-network traffic if you look at the traffic acquisition. And what we noticed is that we have traffic from all kinds of countries that we did not specify. For example, India, uh, let's, let's go here, let me show you. For example, under cross-network, we have Nigeria, India, Latvia, Malta, Saudi Arabia. We didn't target those. What we specified English-speaking uh, countries, US, UK, Canada, Australia, New Zealand. That's all we specified. Let me show you in our campaign right here. So I'm going to go here, performance max. I'm going to go to my settings and I'm going to go to my locations. Let's go, let's wait for a second. So I'm going to go here to locations and I specify just these countries. That's it. Now the key, the setting to, to actually remove the spam and remove all these other countries is this one, location options. And by default, it's specified here to recommend that people that are people in regularly in who or who've shown interest in your targeted locations. This uh, was by default, and most campaigns have this by default. But what we noticed is we got all this traffic, as you've seen, from all these countries we didn't specify. So once we actually change it to this setting, which is people in or regularly in your targeted location, all of our spam uh, started to go away, or at least most of our spam started to go away. This is the key feature, and this is the reason for the video. If you're uh, targeting very specific countries and you don't want uh, other related uh, countries to appear, and you're running Performance Max, you should consider this setting, location options, presence, people in or regularly in your target locations. Once we did that, 
once we look at the dates we already changed it, for example, the last uh, week, we notice that we the traffic came only from the countries that we specified and all of our spam emails started to disappear. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this helps you a lot. This is obviously not related. It's, excuse me. This is obviously related also to campaigns that are not performance max, but in particular because you can't control too many things in performance max. This is a setting that really reduced our spam. I hope it, this helps you. If you have any comments, please let us know. If this helped you, please let us know as well, and please let us uh, let other people know as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. If you like it, please like, please share, please subscribe, please send to a friend, say hello. We're here to create uh, good content, good information for you guys to help you guys do better online. Much, much appreciated. Thank you.